Hello everyone. This video we are going to talk about how to repair a hard drive by replacing the controller board. Some people say as long as they can find the exact same hard drive and the PCB board looks like the same, they can exchange the controller board to fix the hard drive. Maybe it is true for the old hard drive for some cases, but it is not true for the new hard drive for the most cases. To fix a hard drive by replacing the controller board, including the following eight steps. 1. Make sure that the controller board is the problem. 2. Find the correct donor board. 3. Take off the bad board. 4. Ship the bad board. 5. Controller board firmware transfer. 6. Receive the donor board. 7. Put on the donor board. 8. Test the hard drive. Step 1. Make sure the controller board is the problem. Replacing the controller board only can fix the controller board problem. It will not fix the other hard drive problems. We listed most of the bad board symptoms in our website. Step 2. Also, this is the key. Find the correct donor board. We need to find the model number of the hard drive and the board number of the PCB board and search in our website to find the correct donor board for the hard drive. The model number of the hard drive on the label and start from ST. The board number is on the green PCB board. Go to www.hdd-parts.com. In the search box, input the board number space and the model number. Then click on search. Now. We find the board for this model hard drive. Please read the description part of this item and follow the instructions. Seagate used Torx 6 screws to secure the PCB board onto the hard drive. So we use Torx 6 screwdriver to work on this model Seagate hard drive. Step 3. Take off the PCB board. First, unscrew all the screws from the PCB board and keep them in a safe place for the future use. Second, take off the PCB board. Step 4. Ship the bad PCB board to us. First, Protect the board with static bag and bubble mailer. Second, if you ship from outside of Canada, you need to fill a customs declaration form. You declare the bad board as a bad hard drive controller board. The value is $5. You need to fill a PCB board firmware transfer form. You can find the form in the description part of the item. This is how the clients ship their PCB board to us. First, they print out our shipping address on the envelope. Second, their mailing address. Third, print out 
the firmware transfer form and ship together with the PCB board. Fourth, if ship from outside of Canada, they fill a customs declaration form, declare the board as bad hardware controller board. The value is five dollars. Step five, controller board firmware transfer, also called controller board BIOS swap. It means to transfer the controller board firmware from one board to another board. Why do we have to do controller board firmware transfer for this model hard drive? Because this model hard drive, one controller board includes two parts, hardware and firmware. The firmware includes hard drive's unique configuration data. The hard drive needs this unique configuration data to work. So, we have to transfer this unique configuration data from the bad board to a good donor board. This picture illustrated how to do firmware transfer. On the left hand side is a bad controller board. On the right hand side is a good controller board. Controller board firmware transfer means we transfer the data from the memory chip on the bad board to the memory chip on the good donor board. Regarding hard drive controller board firmware transfer, we have the following four things want to mention. First, we can do controller board firmware transfer from burned, physically damaged, watered controller boards. Because we work on the memory chip, so do not worry about how damaged your PCB board could be, as long as we can read the data from the memory chip, we can do firmware transfer from this board. Second, controller board firmware transfer is different from the hard drive firmware upgrade. Controller board firmware transfer is to copy the controller board firmware from one controller board to another controller board. Hard drive firmware upgrade is to upgrade the hard drive's firmware. It nothing to do with the controller board. We do controller board firmware transfer for our clients for free. We offer free shipping to ship the donor controller board to our clients. Step 6. Receive the donor board. After we finished the firmware transfer, we use this professional box to mail the PCB board back to our clients. Step 7. Put on the donor board to the hard drive. After receiving the donor board, you need to put donor board onto the hard drive. And second, screw all the screws back to the PCB board to secure the PCB board to the hard drive. When you do it, Please do it nice and gentle. Step 8. Test the hard drive. Put the repaired hard drive back to your computer to test it. If it works, congratulations, you fixed the hard drive. If the hard drive doesn't work, that means this hard drive got the problem beyond the PCB board. Inside the hard drive, 
there are two parts, spindle and the discs. If the spindle or discs got problem, the hard drive would not work as well. If you cannot find the correct board for your hard drive, you may take pictures of the hard drive and the PCB board. Email to us. We will find the correct board or the best solution for you. We carry all the brand name hard drive parts from the very old to the latest. If you cannot find the correct parts by yourself, you may take pictures of the hard drive and the controller board. Email to us. We will find the correct parts or the best solution for you. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.